Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now this is the final video we're going to be doing in this probability series. And in here we're going to be looking at the type of problem where we're choosing a committee randomly. So a committee of four people is to be chosen at random from a club with 12 members, four men and eight women. So first, what is the probability that at least one man is chosen? And what is the probability that one particular member, Jack Smith, is chosen? Now for both of these problems, the order of our sample space this is going to be all possible uh, four-person committees from 12 members. So we know that there's 12 choose four of these. Right? We don't need to use permutations here because we're not assigning president, secretary, etc. We're just selecting a committee of four people. So there's 12 choose four different committees that can be chosen out of 12 people. Now for this part one, what is the probability that at least one man is chosen? So this is that type of problem where it's very convenient to use the complement. Right? Now I can calculate out the probability that one man is chosen, add that to the probability that two men are chosen, add it to the probability three men are chosen, add it to the probability four men are chosen, or I can just look at the probability that no men are chosen and subtract it from one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So E is the event that at least one man is chosen. Right? I'm going to let E be my at least one man is chosen. So then the order of E complement or E bar, this is the event where no men are chosen or in other words all women are chosen. Now the way to make a four person committee out of eight women is eight choose four. So there are eight choose four possible committees that consist of only women. So then the probability that at least one man is chosen this is going to be 1 minus the probability that no men are chosen. Should be 1 minus. Now the probability no men are chosen, that's my 8 choose 4 over 12 choose 4, isn't it? From what we did over here. So 1 minus that, that's the same as 1 minus 8 factorial over 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Usually when we're doing these at home, you can use a calculator, but if you're on a test and you can't use it, it's good to practice this. We're dividing by this binomial coefficient, so that's 4 factorial, 8 factorial on the top, 12 factorial on the bottom. Now I get some simplification, the 4 factorials cancel out. This is going to be 1 minus 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 over 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. And this is going to simplify down to 1 minus 14 over 99, or in other words, 85 over 99. So the probability, even though there's twice as many women as there are men, the probability that the committee will have at least one man is still 85 out of 99. That's pretty good. Let's look at part two here. Part two, what is the probability that one particular member, Jack Smith, is chosen? So if Jack Smith is chosen, my event space E, this is going to consist of all committees that include Jack Smith. Now the question we should be asking is how many ways are there to, to create four person committees that contain Jack Smith? Well that's the same as saying the number of ways to choose three person committees that do not contain Jack Smith, or 11 choose three. Right? For each of these three person committees not containing Jack Smith, I can throw Jack Smith onto that committee and that's going to be a different four person committee with Jack Smith. So there's 11 choose three different committees that contain Jack Smith as one of the members. So then the probability of E, uh, this is going to simply be 11 choose three over 12 choose four. Now here my K and my binomial coefficients is different so this should work out pretty well. So 11 factorial over 3 factorial, 8 factorial, times 4 factorial, 8 factorial, over 12 factorial. Now my 8 factorials cancel, that's nice. My 4 factorial over 3 factorial reduces down to a 4 on the top, and my 11 factorial over 12 factorial reduces down to a 12 on the bottom. So there's a 1 in 3 probability that Jack Smith is going to be on one of the committees. Now there's nothing special about Jack Smith. Uh, for any one of the 12 members, there's going to be a one in three chance that they're going to end up on the committee. So when the committee is randomly chosen, each member has a one in three chance to be on it. 
And that's it. That's it for my committee choosing problems and for probability. Now the next couple sections we're going to be looking at uh, to finish out the course for the students taking it this semester are going to be just basic matrices and then elementary number theory. We'll see you there.